Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to a Chart Nerd Technical Analysis video. Today, we will be discussing the likes of Ideology. The ticker is IDEA, and we're looking at the weekly time frame. I will also have a little brief look at the monthly. Keep it at macro, zoomed out perspective. It's how we like to do it here. So diving into some technical analysis for us today, I wanted to start from the breakdown uh, back here in 2021, where the all-time high is or was put in on the 10th of May and is currently above $1.10. Right now, we are at the price of 0 0.0014. So just to give a quick breakdown of this project, you can see that we had this previous level of ascending support here that uh, Ideology was putting in back in 2021 and into... The, the second phase of um, 2022 before eventually breaking down and losing this key level of support. Now you can say that uh, what, what we were looking at here is some sort of descending triangle where you had these lower highs that would be putting in over time, three lower highs, and it eventually led to the loss of this support back here in May of 2022. Now we can get a little breakdown target. So from the, the all time high back down to the lowest wick point of contact, you can see that when this did break down and lose support, we actually came down and met this target and we did deviate for a few days, but you can see the next following week, we had some sort of recovery. Now, what I wanted to point out from this phase is that we did see relief off of this capitulation from this sort of descending triangle that we was in. But what happened here is we had this sort of rising channel into the weekly 20 EMA. And this acted as key resistance for us back here in January of 2023. And we, we sort of started capitulating in February, hit it one last time in April, and then just didn't look back. Now it looks quite fearful and it looks quite daunting when you see projects put in these sort of corrections. But again, there's very, very similar projects in the sort of space that we're in right now and the time that we're in, in, in these markets, the majority of altcoins are down 80, 90%, some even more. So this isn't abnormal to see. Again, the likes of Velo last year, DMTR last year, saw very, very harsh corrections. And it just puts the fear of, of, of everything into people. But hear me out. From this point now, okay, where we ran into this rejection of the EMAs, we just continued to capitulate. Now, we lowballed out in October of 2023. And what you'll notice is that we had, from this low, we had an ascending level of support that was being held here for idea right so we came up we got back above the 20 ema came back for support broke out above it once again but since have come up put a lower high in and we've lost this support okay so we had a high we put in a lower high indicated deplete and buying pressure and eventually we just crumbled through this uh support that was being held from october of 2023 so right now what we need to see for some positive confirmational uptrend or reversed uptick is somewhere to low ball out from losing this ascending support we have come back in so far what looks to be like an a a b c correction now there are some negative signs that I'm seeing here in the short term for IDEA. Now, let me explain. So the fact that we've lost this 20 week EMA and we're back under it now, um, and equally it will be resistance if we do try and move back up to it again. Uh, I think that potentially we have key levels of previous support that have been lost. And this week we're currently running up to this price here. So we've got a price range above us of 0.0015 that was previous support back here for multiple weeks um, through, where was we? November all the way till February, November 2023 to, 20, to February 24, we held this as support and put in this continuous, uh, continuative wave. So we had this sort of A, B, C, large move up. So what I think is going on right now is we are either in this ABC and we've lowballed out, but again, we've lost this port and right now it's acting as resistance. So we do need to be cautious. And what I think we could have is this one, two, three. Right now, if we do break up, we've got this 20 week EMA above us on our heads. If we come up to that, for example, and retrace back to this wave one low, potentially we meet that as resistance and one more time come back to form a large double bottom on the macro here and at this point i think we we do start really picking up the ship here and marching on to higher highs but it's, it's just a little bit concerning to me because what would have been nice to see is from this local high back down to our all-time low it would have been nice to see the golden ratio hold a support on the way down here okay so 050 and the 0618 but you'll notice we, we've literally just capitulated through both 
of these ratios. And again, now we're running up to the 0.618 at 0.0016 and meeting that as resistance. And equally, as I mentioned to you before, you've got all of this previous support that was held on the 0.618 back here uh, from November in 23 all the way to February of 24. And we've lost it. Okay, we've lost it and we're now running back up into it. So this is a very strong level of resistance for me. And then the next level, if we do start to see ourselves get back above that, as I've mentioned, you've got this weekly 20 EMA coming on our heads here. And we've also got resistance at the 050 at 0.0021. And that is from this local high we're tracing back to this local low. So there is a lot to be done in front of us. And if we do sort of see ourselves get back up to this weekly 20 EMA, do expect it to be met as resistance. And if this is the local low here, and we don't come back for this sort of one, two, three, four, five waves that I'm looking for, then what we need to see is some sort of building foundation base where we come back for a higher low here and eventually do break out, hold this 0618 as support, and then look for the continuation right so i hope you guys are with me in that sort of sense and it's just to give a quick update on the macro perspective here just key points to take away the 050 and the 0618 and now key resistance points in front of us because the 0618 especially it will tie up with this 20 week ema if we do start seeing relief up into this so do expect it and previously this level of support that will now also act as a level of resistance so we do need to see some sort of formational base even if we come up here and then come back for a higher low over the next few weeks and build it it is a potential so we just have to monitor it moving forward again key points to take away 0618 is key resistance now because it was previous support back here getting above that you've got key resistance once again at the weekly 20 that will be coming back down in our heads and zero the 050 at 0 0.0021 <clears throat> again as i said the likelihood for me is we've got a wave one a wave two a wave three right now we get the wave four back into the 050 resistance back into this weekly 20 ema back up to this previous level of support that we've now lost and are running into resistance i think this is a potential play here so if we do see relief as i've said once again do expect a pullback we need to see a higher low hold if we're going to see any upside failing to do so i think we've got this one two three four five wave correction bringing us back down to these lows which we'll need to hold in order to see continuation i hope you guys enjoyed the content from chart nerd ta take care peace out